Does this look familiar? Is your seedling starting mix literally repelling the water? Well, I'm going to be sharing with you how we can fix this issue as well as how you can make your very own professional style seedling mix at a fraction of the cost of the store bought. This seedling mix contains only four ingredients, coconut coir, vermiculite, a little Ecos dish soap, and some gypsum powder. It's a light, fluffy mix that allows for proper drainage, but also holds on to the perfect amount of water retention. So because we're using a compressed coconut coir brick, we need to rehydrate with water. So for an 11 pound brick, you're gonna need nine gallons of water. Now when using tap water, I suggest dechlorinating the water first, and you can do so very easily using a little bit of vitamin C powder. Just a quarter teaspoon will treat both buckets of water here. Next, we're gonna add in some Eco's plant powered dish soap. This biodegradable, non-toxic dish soap is going to work as a surfactant. Using some of this dish soap at a rate of two tablespoons for the nine gallons of water is going to work just beautifully as a wetting agent. It's going to help to evenly distribute the moisture throughout all of this mix. It'll stop the water from repelling when watering in your seedlings and will also provide better uptake of water and nutrients for your seedling as it begins to grow. Next, we're gonna get our Coco Coir brick ready to rehydrate here. So I suggest using a nice, large, sturdy wheelbarrow for this next step here. We're just gonna now add in the water and allow the brick to rehydrate. After a few minutes, you can agitate the brick, flip it over, which will speed up the process. All in all, it takes about 20 minutes. Now, using a flathead shovel, you can just mix up the cocoa coir, break up any larger chunks. And once you have a nice consistent product, which should be free of lumps, and when you squeeze it, should only have a couple drips of water come out. Then you're ready for the next step. So next we're going to add our perlite. Perlite is going to help to fluff up this mix, giving us adequate drainage and aeration. Alternatively, you could also use vermiculite, which will accomplish the same thing. So I used a total of one cubic foot of perlite for this 11 pound brick of coconut coir. Next, we're gonna add in some gypsum, which is a sulfate mineral. The mineral is gonna actually help to feed the seedling a bit, and this is also gonna add a bit of calcium into the mix. Alternatively, or in addition, you could also add in some dolomite lime. All that's left to do now is to mix all these ingredients together. So when seeds first enter into the germination process, nutrition is not a necessity. It's not till the plant begins to grow up and the roots further develop that the plant then seeks out nutrition. For this reason, I don't add anything else to my seedling mix. However, if you want to turn this into a wonderful potting mix, all you need to do is add in a bit of worm castings, some rock dust minerals, and you'll have yourself a super soil potting mix. Well, my friends, it's that easy. And because this is technically a soilless mix, we don't have to worry about different fungal bacteria problems or having organic materials that can attract insects like fungus gnats into our seedling mix. All in all, this is the perfect recipe, just as good, if not better, than anything you can buy in the store. And by doing it yourself, you're getting the freshest ingredients, you know what's going in there, and you're saving yourself some money. So with that, I want to thank you all for watching. If you got something out of today's video or you found it entertaining in any way, do us a favor and smash that thumb button. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. New uploads every week, sometimes every day. And I'm always giving you updates on everything growing on around here. So with that, have yourself a good one. Until next time, this is Dan from PlantAbundance.com. Take care. I'll be talking to you again soon.